Many people have wondered about what heaven is like. Is it a place of endless clouds and xylophone playing angels? In this video, we will explore passages from the Bible that describe the wonders of heaven. Join me as we delve into the scriptures to uncover the descriptions that paint a picture of the celestial paradise promised to the faithful. Understanding the depiction of heaven in the Bible not only offers insight into the afterlife, but also provides hope and inspiration in our journey. Before we continue, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. The beauty of heaven as depicted in the book of Revelation is truly breathtaking. As John describes in Revelation 21, 21, the streets of the heavenly city are paved with gold so pure and clear that it resembles glass. This description evokes an image of unrivaled splendor, suggesting that the streets of heaven are not only magnificent, but also in very perfect conditions. Furthermore, the Bible's depiction of heaven often includes abundant use of precious stones and jewels, further highlighting the unparalleled beauty and richness of heaven. According to Revelation 21:23, the city of heaven needs no sun or moon to illuminate it, for the glorious presence of God alone is enough to light up the entire heavenly realm with divine radiance. This means that heaven is filled with an unending, all-encompassing light that emanates from the very essence of God himself. Imagine being surrounded by an eternal radiance, basking in the warmth of God's glory and filled with an indescribable sense of amazement and wonder. The biblical description of heaven in Isaiah 25, 8 is a picture of unparalleled serenity and peace. God promises that in his heavenly kingdom, death will be no more and all tears will be wiped away. This means that heaven is a place where sorrow, grief, pain and suffering will be forever banished. Instead, the inhabitants of heaven will dwell in a place of perfect harmony and joy, surrounded by the calming presence of the Lord. There will be no more crying, no more mourning and no more despair as the peace of God fills every corner of this heavenly realm. In the book of Revelation, we are given a peek into the heavenly realm where the throne of God is surrounded by magnificent creatures that sing an unceasing chorus of praise, declaring, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Revelation 4, 8. Heaven is a place of eternal worship where the angelic beings and the redeemed from every nation, tribe and tongue continually glorify and honor God for his greatness, his love and his unending mercy. The heavenly experience described in Revelation 22:4 is one of unparalleled closeness and fellowship with God. In heaven, those who have been saved by the blood of Christ will enjoy a relationship with God that transcends the limitations of our earthly existence. The redeemed will find themselves in a state of perfect communion with their Creator, where they see the face of God and His name is forever etched on their foreheads. This eternal relationship will be characterized by unfathomable intimacy, where God's love and glory fill the hearts and minds of his beloved children with indescribable joy and peace. The imagery of Psalm 23:2 paints a vivid picture of heaven as a place of serenity and eternal rest. The Good Shepherd, who is Jesus Christ, leads us to verdant fields of green pastures, where we can lay our heads down to find peace and tranquility. The quiet waters that flow by these pastures provide a constant source of rejuvenation and solace for our souls, reminding us that heaven is a place where our hearts can find true rest and refreshment. The Bible promises that in heaven we will experience a divine feast, complete with sumptuous foods and the finest wines. In Isaiah 25, 6, the Lord himself invites us to an eternal banquet where we will enjoy a never-ending supply of well-aged wines and rich foods that surpass even the most lavish of earthly celebrations. Heaven is a place where we will join in the joyous festivities of God's kingdom, reveling in his abundant provision and lavishing in the delights of his eternal banquet. The Bible holds a beautiful promise for those who believe in Christ, the joyful reunion of loved ones in the glorious realm of heaven. 
In 1 Thessalonians 4.17, the Apostle Paul speaks of the day when those who have died in faith will be caught up in the air along with the living, to be reunited with Jesus and their loved ones who have gone before them. This promises a place of joyous fellowship and celebration, where the bonds of love that were forged on earth will be strengthened and cemented for eternity. In 1 Corinthians 13, 12, the Apostle Paul paints a beautiful picture of heaven as a place where love is perfected and our understanding of God's love becomes complete. In this eternal realm, we will no longer experience the partial understanding and imperfection that we encounter on earth. Instead, we will know God fully and be fully known by Him. Heaven is a place where love takes center stage. We will be united with God in a profound way, experiencing His perfect, unconditional love in a manner that transcends anything we could imagine on earth. Jesus instructs us in Matthew 6.20 to focus our efforts on accumulating treasures in heaven, not on earth. The treasures we can store up in heaven are infinitely more valuable and secure than anything we can hoard on this planet. Heaven is a place of unimaginable blessing and reward, where our faithfulness and love for God are recognized and honored. We will be given riches and treasures far greater than anything we could ever achieve on earth. This means that the things we do for God, the ways we serve Him and love others in His name, will not be forgotten or wasted. The Bible paints a picture of a place where there is no pain and suffering, only eternal joy in the presence of God. Knowing that this perfect paradise awaits us can give us comfort and hope as we navigate through the challenges of life on earth. But, as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9-10 Please leave your thoughts in the comments and share this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to No Limits Faith and support our ministry.